So it is Saturday morning, December 21st, aka Garage Con Day. I am here in Northern California, and today we are going to be doing Garage Con. I honestly have no clue if anyone is going to show up for this thing or not. <laughs> but uh, if, the, if two people show up, if three people show up, if 30 people show up, we are going to have a good time. And what I'm going to attempt to do as best I can is to capture some footage from GarageCon so that you out there who were unable to make it can enjoy what actually happens today. Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to Garage Con. We are here on a cold and gray Saturday, hanging out in the garage. There's a couple of guys back behind me that are hunting and just having a, a good conversation about comics back there, and uh, I'm going to try to shoot some footage so that you guys can see some of the action. So I'm back in the comic book room and it's actually a few days after Garage Con. And unfortunately, I just haven't had the time to do the video, but today is the day that I was able to carve out a couple of moments to uh, do a little bit of a recap of uh, Garage Con. And I actually talked about it on one of the recent live streams, but I wanted to do a dedicated video to show you all the footage that you probably just watched, and then to also do this recap right here. So generally speaking, uh, Garage Con, by my account, was a huge success. It was never about selling comics. It was never really about uh, making money. It was honestly an opportunity for me to meet some local people that subscribe to the channel. That's really what it was all about. And I feel because of that, that it was successful. There were a handful of people that actually came out to Garage Con. And I think it was probably less than 12 but that was actually okay because I had an opportunity to actually spend some time getting to know people and having an opportunity for them to tell me what they like about the channel, to share some of their personal histories with comics, to swap some anecdotes, to talk about our favorite comics, and, and generally just have a good time. And at one point, I remember going upstairs to grab something to eat really quickly. And my wife looked at me and she's like, so, you know, what time do you think you're going to wrap this up? And I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to do it at noon. And she's like, you know, it's actually afternoon already. <laughs> I had honestly lost track of time because I was having such a good time. So if you came out to Garage Con, I want to say thank you. I enjoyed your company. If you thought about coming to Garage Con, I want to say thank you for thinking about it and just let you know you missed out on a good time. <laughs> so huge shout out 
to a couple of people. My buddy Matt hooked me up with this uh, You're a Nut sketch that he drew. Many of you know Matt from the live streams that I do. He's a young guy that uh, loves ASM. He also clearly has a talent for drawing. Uh, in one of the videos that I released recently, I actually, uh, the Christmas video, I actually show some AOKs that other people gave me in addition to, to Matthew's sketch right there. So if you, you missed that video, you may want to go back out and, uh, and watch that one. Uh, in addition to Matthew, I do want to give a shout out to Albert. Albert actually reached out to me several days before GarageCon. He made mention that he actually had some comics that he wanted to donate to my buddy uh, John down in Florida. And you may remember that John is a member of the Comic Book Fiend Club. They are uh, a social club that actually does some really great things in the community. And so John, as a member of this club, is actually going to be going to some local children's hospitals. And he's also going to be uh, bundling some books up to send off to soldiers. And so in a previous video, I talked about John. I showed you guys some books that I was sending to him for him to give to children. And Albert showed up at GarageCon giving me a couple of books that he wanted to donate to some soldiers. And so I want to show you some of those books as well as some other books that I'm going to bundle up with Albert's books to send to John. I hope that that was clearer than what it sounds like in my... <laughs> Who's on first? All right, so... Uh, Albert sent over a couple of really cool books. This is uh, Strike Force. This is uh, Strike Force number one. And uh, I think I know a couple of these characters, but most notable is uh, Spider Woman down there. It's a really cool book right there. He actually sent uh, two copies of the number one. So we're going to send both of those along. And then there are two copies. Yep, two copies of flash forward number one and these are both the variant covers so really cool cover right there he sent a little bit of uh, marvel and also some dc and by sent i mean he hand delivered sorry about that so four books a uh, couple of really cool ones that we're going to bundle up and send off to John as soon as possible. And then I was uh, I pulled some books from GarageCon that people didn't pick up, uh, specifically some graphic novels that have uh, been sent over to me that I am going to send out. There is uh, Grindel, Devil by the Deed, one book right there, a little graphic novel. I'm not even sure how many pages. This is actually from, uh, from Dark Horse. That cover had not been cracked until that moment that I just did it right there it's actually a pretty nice uh pretty nice graphic novel i'm not even sure what how many pages there's no page numbers that's what actually what i was looking for but cool book we'll bundle that one up here is uh from marvel uh the savage land book right there and i saw something earlier saying that uh, savage land related comics were actually on the rise not quite sure what is behind that but this is a cool one uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put this one in a box. Hopefully all these fit. Here is uh, Batman Grindel by uh, Matt Wagner. So we're gonna send that off to uh, to them. There is uh, Jeff Smith's Bone out from Boneville. So we'll bundle that up. People seem to really dig this this title. There is uh, the new Ultimates by uh, by Jeff Loeb, and this is Thor Reborn. And there's Prototypes 2. I don't even know who makes this one. Oh, Activision. It's Dark Horse. It's based upon a video game. Folks may be aware of that one. I have, uh, I've never seen that one before, but there we go. And uh, then we have Arrow Season 2.5 DC right there. And then the very last book is the Siege New Avengers by, uh, by Bendis. And this is actually a pretty slick book right here. This one is... Uh, this is pretty nice, but we're going to um, bundle this one up. I, I dig the new Avengers story arc, so uh, send this one off all to John for uh, the soldiers down there. So if you're interested in donating, I will try to remember to put 
all of John's information in the description of this video in case you want to send something either to the soldiers or to some uh, children down in Florida. So there you have it. Uh, stay tuned because after this little clip right here, I'm actually going to show you some additional footage from GarageCon. You may have seen it before if you watch some of the previous videos. If not, uh, stay tuned because I'll be showing you some of what was actually in the bins for GarageCon. As always, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment behind, let me know what you think. And if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at Reggie Collects on Instagram and Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care. All right, so these are a bunch of graphic novels that uh, I actually won as part of a, a uh, contest many months ago that was sponsored by Bueller. Uh, he actually sent me, I think it was like a 35 pound box of stuff and there were a lot of graphic novels in there. I'm not really a graphic novel kind of guy, but uh, these will be available and I'll probably sell those for like two bucks or something like that. Just a couple of bucks, couple of cool books here. Uh, fund comics right there, Grindel. There's a couple of cool things here. Thor, there's a Thor official index to the Marvel Universe and a few others right there. And then as you can see here, this is a bunch of the comics that will be available. I'm probably going to be adding to this a little bit over the next week or so. Uh, but this is basically a mixture of stuff, right? So there's some amazing Spider-Man here, some Wolverine here, 90s X-Men, uh, some Astonishing X-Men, Silver Surfer. If you guys remember that collection that I picked up a couple of months ago, that 90s collection, I picked up a ton of these Silver Surfer newsstands. So there's a lot of them in there. Falcon right there, Punisher, Comet, Wolverine. This one is a bunch of uh, image books. I actually picked up a collection from a guy that actually worked at Image. And so he had a ton of image, uh, many of which I think are actually signed. Uh, I think there's a couple in here. New Kids on the Block, if anyone's into that. Here's one. I think there's one in this front. Yep, that's one that's signed. I want to say that there's some bone in here somewhere. If folks are a, fa a fan of bone. I want to say that there's a couple of them here. There's one right there. Uh, a few of them might actually be signed. I think they're in the bins. But a lot of image stuff right here. What is this? Roger Rabbit, Bugs, Fievel arachnophobias in this one. As you would imagine, there's also a lot of amazing Spider-Man, spectacular Spider-Man, web of Spider-Man stuff kind of mixed into some of these. 90s magic right there with Deathlock. Actually, it's a bundle that's taped together. That won't work, so we'll have to pull that out. Maybe those books are damaged. We'll pull those books out. Over here, web of Spider-Man, uh, some DC stuff in here. I think that was, uh, I don't know what that was. So there's a couple of, oh, there's a bone right there. Wildcats, gotta love that book right there. Wildcats 1, Bone, a couple of Bone books here. And I want to say these are some of the ones that are signed. Nope, maybe not. Pull that out of there. Just a mishmash of stuff in these. Some Dark Hawk over here, Thor. And uh, like I said, it's some amazing Spider-Man right here. 243, 233, 236, 199. Married with Children! And all of these books are basically going to be... Uh, one dollar. We're going to keep it relatively straightforward and relatively inexpensive for everybody. So these are the books. And like I said, I'll be adding to these bins over the next several days. So hopefully folks can make it out. And then back over here, I actually have some additional stuff that I'm actually going to give away. There's some bags down at the bottom and these are coffee cups that I have left over from another project. So hopefully folks can make it out to Garage Con. Uh, this is a small sample of some of the stuff that I'm actually going to put out for everyone. Hope to see you.